guys welcome back to my youtube channel oh happy vlogmas today i'm gonna be taking you through my tanning routine um, i have a couple of these videos on my channel but this is gonna be like a very updated one i've changed some stuff in my routine i just wanted to like hang out with you guys like i'm tanning tonight so why not like bring you along with me you know what i mean i'm gonna just say the elephant in the room okay my nail broke off yesterday and it hurt so bad like look guys it's so horrible this part's like hanging on by a thread and i'm pretty sure my nail like is up under that and it really hurt so let's just pretend that's not there it's really ugly i can't get it fixed too because my nail is so fragile right now like that i could not go and get it fixed pretty not happy about that but it's okay anyway i'm going to be you know just taking you along with me through my whole tanning routine. It's currently a Tuesday. Next week is Christmas, next Saturday. So this is my last tan before the Christmas season. I like to tan like once every week and a half. Next week will be like, I'll tan probably on Christmas day or whatever. Let's do it because I'm so pale, pale as a ghost. It's pretty funny. Like I look back at pictures and stuff and I'm like, I can't. But then my boyfriend's like, I love your pale skin. Like it looks so good. But like once you start tanning and once you do it all the time, then it's like hard to go back. So I'm gonna just do my tanning routine because I can't look at myself any longer. Let's go into the bathroom because that's where the routine is gonna start. I'm gonna talk you through some products and stuff like that. I'm also, it's hair washing day, so I'm gonna wash my hair. I also get my hair done on Friday, so I'm really excited. It's gonna be like all fresh and pretty for the rest of the week and for my vacation coming up. You guys, I'm gonna vlog the whole thing, but it's not gonna be part of Vlogmas because it's after Vlogmas is over, but the first couple weeks of January will be all of my travel vlogs, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to travel. like. I haven't traveled since the summer and we went to beaches, but they weren't like beautiful beaches like they weren't like blue water Of course, it was fun. It was still this like a great experience and all that But like to actually get in the water like it's not it wasn't the same So we're going to Mexico and I'm so excited because I want to get into to the water This is also like my first time going to Mexico as a 20 year old like the last time I went to Mexico I think I was 15 or so and now I'm gonna be able to like legally drink there and not that I like want to drink that much I probably won't like, you know might have one like one or two every day I'm not someone who like is interested in drinking really but it's just funny that I can be like Oh, can I have this there? But like I can't do it here. It's just funny I'm excited and I'm excited to just be on the beach and be in bathing suits even though it's like not the vibe of winter or Christmas at least Christmas will be over and I can put on my swimsuit and pretend that it's summer, even though it's not. Hopefully it's warm there, because I, I like it when it's really warm on the beach. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I'm gonna continue to brush my hair. Okay, let's talk products. I love these two things. This, honestly, I don't know how well it works. Like I've used it now twice, I think. And honestly, I haven't really seen like a huge difference on how easily this came out, like made my tan come off, but this is the deluxe tan remover and I still have a lot left. So obviously I haven't used it enough to like give it a fair review. I just don't know if it's like worth rebuying kind of thing. I don't know. I'm still like investigating on this and seeing if it works for me, but like it did come off. I just don't know if it came off easier than normal if that makes sense. So this is the deluxe tan remover. I don't really have a ton of tan left. I don't think I'm going to use this today because I just don't feel like I have enough tan to like put this all over my body and wait for 10 minutes. But that's what you do. You put this gel all over and then it like removes your tan easier, I guess. Guys, I'm obsessed with this mitt. This is a Loving Tan exfoliating mitt. This has literally changed my life. It's so amazing. Um, there's a black side, which is like the rougher side, and then there's the pink side that's like more of the softer side. I like the pink side better. I don't know why. I just feel like it works better. I don't know. But I can either use this just like with water on my skin, or I'll put soap on it and scrub my skin as well. It's a little less exfoliating because it kind of glides a little bit better. 
this mitt, if you don't have this and you tan all the time, you need it because it's literally helped so much in removing the tan because tanning, it's so stubborn to get off. Like people don't talk about how hard it is to get tan off. I just love that. It's just really good. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'm gonna do my hair washing routine. If you wanna watch that, I'll put it here so you guys can watch. Just click this link. But I am going to jump in the shower, wash my hair, scrub my body, and get this tan off. Oh, also I like to shave my entire body as well. I shaved last night so that it would be good for this tan. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll be back in just a minute. I'm gonna jump in and I will be back. Okay guys, I am out of the shower. Typically I would moisturize, do all of my like skincare routines, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want it to mess up the tan. If you add products on your skin, it's just gonna build up and the tan's not gonna develop really evenly or anything like that. So keep your skin, just let it be. Then I am going to let it rest because right now my skin is so red and irritated and I need to let it just chill, get less red, calm down, and then I will tan later. I cut my nail. I just felt like it was holding on by a thread. So I cut it and then I realized that my nail is missing right here. It's cut so I can lift that whole piece so my nail would be this short. So I'm not happy about that because that's gonna be a pain to grow back and it was. So I'm gonna go wrap it up. I'm going to stop this video for right now and then I'll pick it back up later tonight when I am about to tan. So just let your skin calm down, let it be, don't add any moisturizer, don't do anything like that, and then we will be back. Okay guys, it's much, much later. It's almost 11 o'clock at night and I'm about to start tanning. My skin's definitely calmed down and I am ready to start tanning. I need to take my makeup off and do everything that needs to be done underwater because I cannot use water after, you know, I tan. So I'm going to finish up my skincare routine and I already brushed my teeth in all of my like dental hygiene. I'm just now need to do my face so that it's ready to go. But while I take my makeup off, let's just talk products. My favorite tan is the... <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Okay. My favorite tan is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse, an ultra dark, and it's from Loving Tan. I also love the Two Hour Express in dark. That one's really good too. I just, I've been using this one recently. I just switched over to this eight hour one, and honestly guys, it's so easy, and all I have to do is literally put it on, go to sleep, and then wake up and wash my tan off, and I I'm like have a perfect glowy tan. I love how like convenient that one is. I feel like it's a lot easier just to like sleep in it. It dries, so you, you don't really feel it. Like at first you're like, okay, I have tan on. Like I, this is like very comfortable. But like after you fall asleep and stuff, it's like, you can't even tell. This is the ultra dark, so it's even darker than the two hour express one. And I feel like it develops longer, so I feel like it does have a deeper tan. My favorite little face tan is also, you can put this, that tan on your face, it's just gonna be really dark. I like the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Drops. Those are really good for like a gradual face tan. And then for a actual like face tanner, I like this one. This is the Deluxe Face Tan um, Tinted Self Tanning Cream. It's two hour express, so I can't use it tonight. But if I tan with the two hour express, I just put that on my face and it's supposed to like not be so harsh and not make you so tan and also not break you out, so. Okay, oh, I just washed my face and now I'm gonna do the gradual face tan. Um, what I do is just mix this Coco and Eve sunshine drops with my moisturizer. I take some moisturizer and then I just drop this, I do three drops of it into my moisturizer and I mix it up. I usually would use my other hand but I don't want to like get my finger dirty before bed. And then I just put this all over my face and it's going to give me just a little bit of like a glowy look. So there, that's all done. 
Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I tan now. Obviously, I'm going to do the rest off camera, but what I'll do is just take my tanner. Oh, and I forgot to mention. You need to moisturize the really kind of hard to, like the creasy, dry, less skin parts. So like your elbows, your wrists and like your knees and your ankles. So make sure you do that first, let that soak in. And I use the Coco and Eve glove. I love the Loving Tan one as well. I like this one because it has a thumb, but they're both great. I've used gloves before, but it's really hard and it kind of is messy. So I prefer a mitt personally. So I'll do like two pumps on my mitt and then I'll start on my arm and you're gonna see like the difference it makes. Um, it has an instant bronzer, so you're going to be able to see exactly where you're putting this tan instantly. So it does help with that color guide to make sure that you get every little piece and crease that there is. Make sure to stay away from the hands until the end. You don't want to get like super dark hands. You'll just keep blending it. I kind of do like a circular motion all over just like that. And of course, I'll like actually, if I'm shirtless, like I can get in there with this. I'll just rub it until it's all blended out. And as you can see, you can already see that huge difference in my skin color. And I'm going to do that literally all over my body. I'll probably do two coats. Personally, I like a two coat tan. I just feel like it's going to get on there better. I will be back. Let me do my whole entire body and then I will show you what it looks like at the end. Okay guys, I'm all tanned, like so tan. It looks really good. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do to my hair. Whenever I tan, what I do with my hair is I don't want it to like crease. If I like leave it up like this, it's gonna crease and look horrible the next day. So what I've been doing is just doing like a really loose ponytail, like two loops, and then I'll lay my pillow and I'll lay my hair down like that if that makes sense. But for now, I'm gonna put a clip in. And it's not like a big deal, like my hair's not gonna get dirty. It's just, I don't want my tan all in my hair. I don't know, I'm just weird about that. That is all, like look at this, look how tan. I mean, it is the bronzer, obviously. So once I wash it off, it will be like the actual tan. But we're gonna show you guys that in the morning. It's currently 11.20 and then I'll wash it off probably at 8 a.m. But I will, you know, continue this video as I wash it off and wake up in the morning. What I wear to bed is this like super thin material shirt. It's like a long sleeve. Um, I don't know what material this is, but it's so soft, super thin. And then for pants, I wear these Target little sweatpants. They're like super thin like joggers. Anyway, and then hands I just kind of lightly tan them as best as I can. I'm gonna hop into bed. Here's Luna. She's like ready for bed. She's like, stop whipping that camera in my face. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay guys, I'm gonna go to sleep and I will show you tomorrow for the final results. Good night. Good morning guys, it's the next day. My hands are bad. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, it is what it is. Here's my tan. I think it looks good. Hopefully it's developed all the way. I'm going to, uh, look how dark, oh my gosh. I'm gonna jump in the shower real quick and wash it all off. My hands are so bad. Like, they weren't supposed to be this bad. I think it's because I washed my hands Maybe I stop doing that. I just get so obsessing over the fact that my hands are dirty. So I'm just gonna scrub, not scrub, but scrub my hands and then let all the tan uh, bronzer come off. So I'll just jump in the shower and kind of rinse. My face is not that tan, but it is a little bit, so. Okay, I just got out of the shower and this is the tan all <sighs> developed. It's obviously like I just washed it off, so it is gonna get a little bit darker. Super natural, besides my hands, just ignore those. Except when I washed them, it helped. It's not so bad. And then my leg, it's the same. I'll show you guys the finished product once I have like my hair done and my makeup and my outfit and all that. So I'll be back whenever I'm ready because right now it's too early and I need breakfast. Okay guys, I am all done getting ready. This is the final tan. It's been like a couple hours. And I think it looks really, really good. 
like here is the tan it looks really stinking good and natural and i'm obsessed with it so that is the whole tanning routine i will definitely just not shower until probably tomorrow um and then i'll just not scrub my body it will stay for like a week and a half before it starts getting a little bit bad and then i need to scrub it off but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you subscribe and follow along on vlogmas i'm posting every day for 25 days we're almost done with vlogmas so make sure to catch up if you haven't watched all of the videos i love you guys so much and i will see you tomorrow with my ugly finger Bye.